So you have a camera in your hands, but you don't know how to utilize it to its full potential. This thing has more buttons than a scientific calculator. It can be daunting, but it's alright, let's take it a step at a time. So most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras will have a function wheel similar to this one. My camera is by Leica, which shares electronic components with Panasonic or Lumix. But here's what other manufacturer wheels may look like in case this is what you're looking at. As you can tell, they're all very similar. Now for the most part, we all seem to leave this wheel on the green label for the entire lifespan of the camera, right? But not today. Today we're going to change that. So let's go ahead and locate the aperture priority function on our wheel. On my Leica, it's this A right here in between the P and the S. Here's what the aperture priority function may look like on other cameras. Once we've located the aperture priority function, let's go ahead and spin the wheel to select it. But hey Alex, what the hell is aperture? Well, I'm glad you asked. Aperture is an opening found inside your camera's lens. This opening expands and closes. This is one of many ways your camera controls how much light it captures. Aperture is measured with a numeric decimal system with the preface of F. Typically, if a lens has an F number closer to 1, for example F1.8, that means that it will emit more light, or the opening inside the lens has a capacity to open up quite a bit. These lenses are often referred to as low light lenses and are usually more expensive. They perform great at night and take amazing portraits. As you can see here, our portrait subject is in focus while everything around them can be described as out of focus or blurred. On the other hand, a larger F number, for example F22, means less light will be emitted into the sensor. This means your aperture is nearly closed. A great time to use a large F number is when taking landscape photos. Having your f-stop higher creates more sharpness and captures more detail. Another great time to boost that number is when taking long exposures at night. Again, this will capture all those details you want. Fact. Zoom lenses, the most common lenses in camera bundles, usually have limited apertures and are not great for low light. Usually the f-stop on these kit lenses is around 2.8, but most of the time it's higher than 2.8. In fact, if you have a 2.8 zoom lens, that's actually a pretty good zoom lens, considering mine are usually around 3.5. So we're on aperture priority, what's next? Aperture priority means we will only control the opening in our lens while the camera automatically controls the rest. Some lens allow you to control aperture from the lens itself as a ring, kind of like a focus ring but this one will be clearly labeled for f-stop or aperture control. Most modern cameras allow you to control the aperture from the body, and it's usually in the form of some sort of wheel. So now that you know about aperture priority on your camera, why don't you go out and try it? Feel free to link your shots in the comments below. I would love to check them out. You're well on your way to ditching that automatic setting on your camera.